Sorry. No worry about it. Chill out! Keep taking the medication. There he is! Nico Belek! Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers. The two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry? Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes. It's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister? That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you and Brett Halfwit? <coughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother, Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Sent a despair, it's in the air. I'm broken and hard to repair. Let's do this. On the path to humanity, I sit at the gate. Alright, here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians. While Nico and Derek manage the employees, anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you, Patrick. Safe to say, what we're using is controllable enough to go through any vault door without incinerating whatever's inside. It's not gonna leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is gonna give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First, you're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's P.E. 4, not C4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? 
You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. We all know what we're doing. Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Let's make this clean, boys. No civilian casualties. We just want to take the bank's money and get out of here! I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys! Let's go! Get out of here, everyone! Come on! Let's do this, people! Move in! Move in! Go! 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 Go!
with me. Shit, they followed us down here. They're in the subway, too. Shit, 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 Michael! Damn it! I could have been nice to him for once in my fucking life! Kid only wanted to help! He loved you, Packy. He was happy you spoke to him. Didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that their son is lying dead on the floor of a bank in Ungon. You give them this cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. I on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. All units, there's a robbery in progress. Driving in Liberty fucking city, eh? Hail Mary! I'm feeling sick!
someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. Eye on the road, Nico! We don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. Just over there. If we're gonna get to the underbelly of the city, we should take a cab ride. Do you think that's it? Ah! Yeah, uh, take me to Frankfurt and Jane, uh, near Star Junction, please. So, riding in a cab, it's, it's a serious Liberty City experience, you know? Because these people uh, drive for like 18 hours straight and pee in soda bottles. You know, then they talk to their friends on cell phones and Jack Fuckistan or wherever they're from and uh, toss off. Uh, but the immigrants, that they, they bring the city alive. Them and the stockbrokers. But you know, people say, Laszlo, are these people? You're Laszlo? You're kidding me. I remember you. You used to be on the radio. You were so funny. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, man, I was on Chatterbox. And I'm coming back. I'm on the air now. You were funny for a while, but what happened to you? Uh, what do you mean? You turned into an annoying creep. All you talk about is how many women you sleep with. You don't look like you've had any women. A lot of girls have ridden these handlebars, huh? You know? I mean, since my divorce. Nobody wants to hear about your problems. Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? It's about reality these days, not entertainment. Because okay? I gotta tell you, once you've flown first class, you know, it sucks to take the bus again. That, that's why I got all these addictions. Bring about that vegetarian guy. That was funny. Don't, don't tell me how to do my show. But good. I spit in your cab. Get out of my cab. I don't want washed up celebrities in my cab. Washed up? Dude, I'm doing a new show! See you in hell, buddy. See you later, Laszlo. Alright, this is the Laszlo Show. The station is called Integrity. I, I should mention that we're, we're sponsored by Zit. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. This is the Laszlo Show on Integrity. Nico! Space modern life, sometimes you just have to live. Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Here we are, man. End of the line. 